Quentin is a very rare animal, yeah. Um, that what he does, he brings a reality to these people with a sense of humor. And that's very, it's very difficult to find a writer who can give you darkness and humor together. You know, you either get one or the other. There's very few writers in the world today who, who have that ability to give you both things at once. It is a very strange route that these kids take in order to fulfill a dream and, the, and en route um, they, encounter, um, they encounter some very difficult and tough situations which, which uh, the outcome is, is, uh, is very violent. You know? But um, I don't want to turn an audience off with the violence so therefore in, in terms of my handling of the violence um, uh, I'm not trying to make it acceptable is the wrong word but it's say, I think the best way to describe it you should feel it rather than see it. I read it, I fell in love with it, and I think as a director, um, making a movie is about falling in love with a movie. And why now? There's no, you, know, you can never anticipate a time when you meet a project and fall in love with a project. You, it comes your way and I see it and I grab it and I get tunnel vision. And um, I'm totally preoccupied with it until I've finished it. The script is very fresh and very different, not in terms of the story of the movie. You've seen the story of the movie many times before. You know, kids on the run with a suitcase full of drugs or a suitcase full of money. Um, it was fresh and different because the characters are unique. They're unique because they, they are dark and sweet and tender and violent and also have a sense of humor. And Quentin Tarantino is the, is the thing that makes this movie and the script unique. Christian Slater is Clarence. The, the sweetness, the darkness, the danger, um, and the double edge to him. He is, he is the character. Patricia Arquette. Um, Patricia, um, sweet, dangerous, charming, beautiful, sexy. Um, uh, she again became the character. She isn't the character. She, when I first met her, I met Patricia Arquette. Uh, three weeks later, she did her homework and she became, well, went into character and remained in character the rest of the movie. She became Alabama. So I never called her Patricia from that point on, I called Alabama. Dennis. Um, Dennis is one of my all time heroes. Chris Walken, one of my all time heroes. Um, they're great. They're great actors. And at their, at their what well, someone said, the peak of their careers, they've been at the peak of their careers for a long time. They do great work and the two of them brought each other out. And it's like watching two samurai warriors um, pacing each other out whilst they did that scene there. They're brilliant. Gary. Gary, strange, fucked up, weird, and brilliant. <laughs> Brad, um, I was really surprised that Brad came to me because again, he's an he's enormous talent, he's an enormous comer. You know, he's gonna be you know, one of the big boys in this, in this world very soon already is. Um, and I was surprised he had such a strong fix on who this small character was in this piece. Michael Rappaport is new on the scene. Michael is Michael. Michael's what you get on the screen. He's this big-hearted, sweet kid um, who has an, an enormous ability at controlling um, his craft. And he is going to be another one, another one who's, who's he's, he is himself on screen. He is, and his strength is his warmth and his sweetness and his integrity. True romance, the, the, the true romance lives. True romance lives and it, and, it, and it lives and dies in the hearts of those who believe it. And it lives in the hearts of these two characters in this movie.